Although the T-Pad phone is a variable friction display, the thing that we're really interested in is in controlling force. Force feedback is very useful, and in most of the his for most of the history of haptics, um, people have been creating force feedback devices. Uh, one thing that you can simulate with force feedback is dynamics. For example, Craig is showing you on the T-Pad phone um, some dynamic visual behavior um, that has been programmed um, into YouTube. So the springiness um, of the screens going back and forth and also the momentum of the list being flicked up and down are both examples of dynamic behavior. So these behaviors are based on some underlying model of masses, springs, and dampers, some dynamic model um, that allows things to behave dynamically on a screen as they would in the real world. Uh, with the T-pad and with force feedback devices, you can make things not only look like they would behave in the, the real world, but also feel like they would.